I never thought I'd be talking about Kelly and Conway on my channel, but you know, these are strange times. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Ryder Bard. You can call me Kyle. If you haven't watched my content before, I do commentary style videos about trending topics and give my opinions on them. I want to quickly say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the views on my last video about Britney Spears. I went semi big on the conspiracy subreddit, so thank you so much for everyone that watched my video from that subreddit or if you're now subscribed. Hey, what's up? Now, to the video at hand, Kellyanne Conway, she's been Trump's counselor since 2017, I believe. She has a daughter called Claudia Conway, who was very, very big on social media. You can even consider her an influencer, but I hate the term. Now, Claudia has completely different views from her mum, Kellyanne Conway, and her father, George Conway. And I mean completely. They are right wing. She is on the opposite side, left wing. She posts stuff about Black Lives Matter. She's very anti-Trump. And she posts a lot of content on her TikTok and on social media in general. So here's a few things that Claudia has done with her, I believe on Twitter she had 118,000 followers. One thing she did was live streamed an argument that she had with her mother, Kellyanne Conway. Why? Go, you can get back to it, turn it off, hi. Turn it off now, baby. No, I'm not okay, thanks guys though. Also, she keeps insulting my mental health. I'm just like, this is just, I'm just showing everyone the truth. Like you're literally not letting me use my freedom of speech. Daddy just wants you to shut it all down because not everybody's following you as well, meaning. Okay, Anne. Hi there. Stop trying to support your police. This many people have nothing to do? That is amazing. It's so nice out. Oh my god! What Mine. are you doing? Ella here. What? And she also told her father, George Conway, who is also a conservative, that she was sorry his marriage failed. Claudia would also post a lot of anti-Trump and pro-Black Lives Matter content on her TikTok. There's a lot of left-wing content that she would post, which would literally go completely against what her parents would ever want. Because they're both highly influential conservatives, and also her mother is literally the counselor to Trump. Now, for why I made this video, because that in itself might be a funny video, but it's not the sort of content that I speak about. Claudia Conway was forced to take her social media offline. So her mother and her father forced Claudia to go offline. So Claudia posted, my parents are forcing me to delete social media. So this is my last tweet. Apparently I don't have a platform. It's fake. Love you all so much. Keep fighting. Claudia also posted a tweet. My parents, particularly my mother, are trying to silence me by getting me to delete my social media. Ha <laughs> ha. So the last thing that Claudia did online is when someone commented under her post, their outrage to the whole situation in support of Claudia, Claudia posted, hashtag save Claudia Conway. The funny thing is, regardless of your political views, if you're left wing, if you're right wing, or if you're something in the middle or whatever, Kellyanne Conway had previously said that she supports Claudia's independent views and her independent expressions online. And then Kellyanne did a complete 180 and now she doesn't care. Her dad, George Conway, also kind of did the same thing. He gave permission for Claudia to do interviews with Insider and USA Today. And then he also did a 180 and said on Twitter on last Friday that any of his four kids are not permitted to do any interviews with journalists. Which is very, very funny because Kellyanne said that she supports Claudia and her individual expression online, I guess only if their views aligned with theirs. Now, whatever political opinion you have, you can see that it's pretty bad if you say your kids can do one thing and you're a public figure. So I say that as whatever you say online, people will remember that. And then reversing course and saying that your kids do not have permission to say whatever they want online. If it does not align, with what they want. Now, I consider myself quite left-wing with my opinions. I'm not American, as you can probably see, I'm Australian. I find this story quite sad because Claudia has a completely different opinion of things compared to her parents, and they don't consider that okay. Kellyanne Conway online has said many times about how she supports free speech, but yet she stops her daughter from having free speech. I'm just showing everyone the truth. Like, you're literally not letting me use my freedom of speech. How do you use your freedom of speech? I don't agree with that at all. So you might think, yo, Kyle, why are you speaking about this? You're Australian. And that's a good point, but as a commentary channel, I will speak about anything that is trending and give my thoughts on them. You don't have to agree with what I say. Actually, I highly advise you to come up with your own opinion and let me know down below what you guys think. Now, I know Kellyanne will never see this video, but on the microscopic chance that she does, you cannot promote free speech and then take it away when it goes against what you want. You have spoken many times about censorship and how important it is to speak what is on your mind. Your daughter has done that. You clearly do not agree with what she says and that's okay, but 
but it does not mean that you can force your daughter to take what she wants offline because it goes against your own core beliefs and that's not cool. Anyways, I think that's all for today. I just wanted to speak about this weird situation, this kind of ironic situation, but it's also extremely sad on, on Claudia's end too because a lot of people like the content. So that is all. My name's Ryder Bard. Stay safe, stay well, love you all. You know, all the usual and peace.